This is a kind of ladder problem where we're going to be looking at this a rigid body in equilibrium and applying both moments and forces to, to solve the problem. So we're told that AB is a uniform rod. Now it's three meters in length, which means that the weight is going to be acting at 1.5 either side A, A and B. So I'll just add that on here. Actually, I'm going to do lengths in a different color. And it's going to be 1.5 here as well. It's on rough horizontal ground. We'll just underline that for a minute, bring that back in. And then a particle of mass one kilogram is attached to the rod at B. So it's going to, we can sort of, um, they can act as a single entity and therefore we've got a weight of uh, G just acting down at that point. The rod makes an angle of 60 degrees, that's labeled on the diagram, and is held in limiting equilibrium, right? That means it's about to move by a light inextensible string CD. So there will be a tension acting this way. D is a fixed point vertically above A and CD makes an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical. Okay, that's the angle at the top. And the distance AC is equal to X, that's labeled on the diagram. Find in terms of G and X, the tension in the string. So what I've not yet um, added to my diagram, which I'm going to do at this point, is the normal reaction force from the ground. So I will call that R. And at the moment, it's not in equilibrium. We were told it, there was friction. The friction must act to the right to counteract the tension acting to the left. So it's going to be F, R. And I think everything is set up there. The only extra bits I'm going to add are some dotted lines. That is also going to be 60 degrees. One reason is that look, this is a right angle triangle here. So that will be 30 and therefore it's 90 minus 30. And for the same reason, this will also be 60 degrees. There's a lot of forces going on. But one way to very quickly remove a lot, most of them is to take moments because moments are all about force times distance and if you make the distance zero you just ignore the force so take moments about a because then i eliminate r and fr and i'm left with 4g and g which i i know their sizes and i can write down therefore uh, t so let's look at the clockwise moments first of all we're imagining like this, this rod, we can rotate it this way or this way. So the 4G and the G will create clockwise moments. It's, um, it's the perpendicular component of the force times the distance from where you're taking moments that gives you your moment. So 4G, then it's going to be cos 60. Because here's our little triangle. If you want to, or you know, I'm turning it into the angle, it's, it's going to be the adjacent. 4G cos 60, don't forget to times by, in this case, 1.5, plus G cos 60, for very similar reasons, times by 3, is going to equal the tension, which is at right angles, so that's all good, multiplied by X. So cos 60 is actually a half. And therefore, we're going to get Tx is equal to 2g times 1.5, so 3g, plus uh, 3 over 2g. That's going to become 9 over 2g. And therefore, T, I could rewrite it as 9g over 2x. You don't necessarily have to write it as a fraction like that, but it feels you know, quite um, simplified if we do. Now told that the coefficient of friction between the rod and the ground is this, and we're asked to determine the value of x. So I've done the moments bit. I'm not going to need to take any more moments. It's all about the forces now. I'm going to resolve forces vertically. 
So all my forces, apart from T, are acting up or horizontally. Up, sorry, vertically or horizontally. So I've got the R plus a component from T. It's going to be T cos 60 because I'm turning it into the angle. Don't know, that's not my right angle triangle. That is my right angle triangle coming along. So T is the hypotenuse. So T cos 60. And that is going to equal 4G plus G. Now I could, let's just hold it there for a moment and deal with the uh, horizontal forces. To the right, I've got FR, and to the left, I've got T sine 60. And then remember, we've got FR, it's in limiting equilibrium, it's going to equal mu R. And therefore, I can. I'm just trying to decide how much to, so I could rearrange this. So R is equal to 5G minus T cos 60, which is actually a half T. And then this is root 3 over 2 T. So I can substitute in for both. Root 3 over 2 T is going to equal 9 root 3 over 35 multiplied by 5g minus a half t. Okay, right, so at this point, I'm gonna bring that back in, 9g over 2x. So root three over two times 9g over 2x is gonna equal nine root three over two, Sorry, sorry, root, sorry, over 35 times 5g minus a half times 9g over 2x. Hey, this does not look nice, does it? But there's a few things that we can immediately do. The root 3s are going to cancel, so that works out really nicely, and the 9s are going to cancel. And in fact, I can even cancel the G because I can divide everything through by G. So it goes from there and there. And while I'm at it, I'm going to cross, I'm going to multiply through by this 35. So I'm going to get 35 because there's still a one here. 35 over 4X is going to equal 5 minus 9 over 4X. I'm going to, I could multiply through by the x, but do you know what? It's going okay. So I'm going to add 9 over 4x onto both sides. I think I actually, yeah, I didn't quite do it this like this when I did it myself originally, but I'm going to stick with it. So I've got 44 over 4x. No, that's not right. Um, yeah, that is right. 44 over 4x is equal to 5, which means 11 over x is equal to 5. So 11 is 5x, right? It's at this point that I've decided to times through by x. You might want to do so earlier. Like quite often when I teach people how to deal with fractional equations, I'm always like, get rid of the fraction straight away. So you could have times through by 2x and 5x, like, sorry, 35, like really early. Um, but it's okay. There's more than one way to do this question. So x is going to be 11 over 5 which is 22 over 10, which is 2.2 meters. All right, that was a bit technical at the end. Lots going on and X as the denominator, but essentially it was, you know, just a fractional equation. And well done on this.